mess. This is this is my heaven. <laughs> Hi there. We're Matt and Stacy. We recently bought an off-grid property in beautiful West Virginia. We've been busy making this property our own little slice of paradise, adding in a few modern conveniences, having fun learning all of the construction trades, and converting a pole barn into our future home. This channel is about my passion for painting with a torch and wax, and about our passion for adventure and taking risks. Consider subscribing and join this creative community. And don't forget, hit that thumbs up button if you're enjoying the video. Hello there. Picking you back up where we started on the previous video. If you missed out on that one, I'll link it up top. I think it'll be over here. At any rate, I'll link it up there and you can go check that out because this is part two of that video, continuing on with the barn dominium fun, adding some final finishing touches and finishing up a lot of little projects. Since we got the electric run in the bathroom, we can finish up this wall, get the installation put in, installation, insulation put in, and finish the shiplap up. The last staples. Pause, please. Part one. Okay, back to part two now. I'm on the other side. Wait, do that again. We missed. I can't do this. There. <laughs> Shiplap is done. I'm going to try not to back up into anything. Yay. The wall is sealed and finished. Except for the trim that Stacy's doing next. I thought an appropriate way to end the evening would be to make a big, huge pot of the lemon chicken noodle soup that I love because we now have an appropriate large size sink to wash the big pot in. So I think we're going to call it an evening, enjoy some soup, and uh, probably pick you back up sometime tomorrow for more barn dominium fun. Good morning. Today's plan is to get the window trim cut at least. Uh, we have measured it and we've got a bunch of dimensions and we've got our cut list. So because it's still fairly warm outside, we're going to try to get everything cut outside and then maybe painted at a later date. I don't know. We'll see. But um, that's today's plan. And then this room is really, obviously we have to get all of the stuff out of here, but um, this room is really coming along nicely. So let's get to cutting some window trim. It's factory work, production. The window trim all cut and just in time it has started to rain so I'm gonna get to painting at least one coat on maybe get to two we'll see but I think I'll probably just put you on time-lapse mode here because you know not too exciting to watch somebody paint 
and uh, yeah, let's get to painting. <laughs> and Welcome to the disaster. <laughs> That's the cabinet we got from storage, and let me just um, try to get you a good, a good a glimpse of Christmas trees still up <laughs> of the um, mess that is the workshop. Mess. This is this is my heaven. <laughs> so yeah, while I'm painting, Matt's gonna be organizing. The good news is that big container, the shipping container, it's pretty much empty. <laughs> One coat done on the trim. There is trim everywhere. And uh, let's see how Matt is doing in the other room. This girl's awesome. <laughs> There's a lot of trim and a lot of black paint. I did good cleaning just in time for UPS to drop off four huge boxes to fill in the space that I just cleaned. Let's go find out. Special delivery. <laughs> Me? Uh huh. Oh, no. Four of these. What are they for? The good news is it's piping for our wood stove. So now we can run a pipe up the outside and actually have a little campfire. Well, not a campfire. Probably just a wood stove fire. <laughs> Inside. Winter How? might show up sometime this year. It's rather warm out today. How's it going in here? Um, well don't look at that corner. <laughs> what corner should we look at? Um, the one behind these boxes that just arrived. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, there's space. Okay. But uh, I need my cabinets and everything else over there. We'll work on that. Yeah. Good morning. Today's plan is to put the window trim up in the living room area. We got the window trim up in the kitchen window back there. It looks really nice. Also a light is installed in the kitchen so that's exciting. I'll flip the camera around here and show you that and then we'll get started on installing the trim in the living room. And minus a few outlets that we have to still put in and the heat shield, bless you, and, and the fireplace piping um, we're pretty much set to go after the window trim so stu still a few more final details in there but it's getting really close
Well, don't get too close. They'll see the details. <laughs> it fits. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a little loose, but it's, it fits. It's like me. <laughs> well, we are at a, a stopping point with the window trim because as my lovely assistant is going to demonstrate here, the top trim is a bit too big. Oh, I thought I was the problem. I'm the assistant? <laughs> oh. We went with a slightly bigger, thicker, if you will, fatter, <laughs> uh, top head plate up there. And the heating unit is in the way ever so slightly. Oh, look. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you could see that very well, but it's literally the inch and a half thick it needs to get moved up. Not even an inch and a half. Not even an inch and a half. So we have a call into the uh, <laughs> people that installed that up there. But of course, it's a Saturday and they're only there Monday through Friday, which I don't blame them whatsoever. Not a bad thing to have the weekend off, but um, we're kind of at a standstill with these because if they can't move that unit up ever so slightly, we're gonna have to redo the trim. And I think probably what we'll end up doing is just putting the same thickness on the top as we did on the bottom because that will fit. Um, but I just like the look of the little bit thicker, a wider trim up there. Um, not the end of the world. So we're gonna switch gears um, and I don't know, I might pick you back up later on, depending on what we end up doing here. And just to end on a positive note, I do think the black trim looks really, really nice. You know how they say things have to get messier before they get clean? I think we're in that state. Welcome to the Terror Dome. <laughs> Progress is being made. Hey, let them know that now we have to empty the red cabinets to put casters on them so that they move easily and also that last one you just saw on the floor is going on top there but to bolt it on I got to move it away from the wall so I'm pretty sure it's got to get empty too because I am not that strong to move an entire full cabinet. <laughs> the storage container is out of here though so uh It'll get there. It'll get there. This can only mean one thing. Bye bye shipping container. Hello, more beautiful property. There she goes. Should be a better view from there now. Obviously, uh, looking pretty nice already. Oh wait, it's coming back. Never mind. Better get out of the way. It's amazing, I can push him up this hill. It's leaving for real now. Nice clean driveway now too. Good evening. It has been, um, what I'll say, an interesting week here in the barn dominium. Uh, we've had a few <laughs> I don't know, 
incidents, I guess. I'm not sure what you say. At any rate, I'm just going to explain them to you and you can decide what we should call them. First, the service guy came out to look at the warming drawer on the electric range and said, yep, it's not closing, which we already told him that. And um, basically he pushed on it, said, yeah, it's not going to stay closed, which we had already sent videos and pictures of. And now they have to order a part and that's going to take a couple more weeks to come in. It took him a week and a half to even get back out here. And so we have a new service appointment scheduled um, for a few weeks from now. It's not the end of the world. It's just, you know, one of those things. At least I can still use the range and the oven and it's just a warming drawer. I wasn't really sure how often I was going to use it anyways, but um, I think it's just the principle of it that like, anyway, moving on past that onto uh, piping. I can spin there, that piping back there in those boxes for the wood stove there in the corner. Good and bad news, mainly bad news. Um, the piping is here, that's the good news, and we were able to locate the piping. The bad news is that we ordered five pieces, and of the five pieces, all five have dents in them. And two of those five pieces basically have dents and they are kind of indented into the interior. It's a double wall pipe. And we called the supplier of the pipe. They don't have any more pipe. And they've also told us that not to use the pipe that is dented all the way kind of through to the interior. We are unfortunately going to use the three pieces that just have dents on the outside because we can't find pipe anywhere. And um, it's all back order until I don't know when, March sometime they said. So we're gonna use the piping that has the dents on them and hope, fingers crossed, we can locate two more pieces of pipe. Matt has located one piece and we're working on another one, but we have to send um, these two back or two of these back because they are just, you know, not working at all. And they ship them just in these cardboard boxes. So there's not even any protection around them. And Matt did, the company, the supplier, was very nice and Matt did tell that company that you know maybe they should add um, extra packing to them or ship them in another box or something because you know the one box we knew it was going to be damaged to begin with because it was all banged up but um at any rate <laughs> so there's that the piping and then if we move on to the next order of business which is the window trim specifically the trim up there I did contact the company that put the mini splits in and unfortunately they cannot raise that mini split. Well, I take that back. They could possibly raise it, but it would take at least a half a day for two guys to do that. It's really, really tight and they would have to also possibly repipe that unit. So um, we have decided that it's probably not worth doing that which is what brings me to tonight. And we're gonna, I think, attempt to cut some trim down for those two windows, see how it looks. Hopefully it's gonna work out. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Again, none of these things are, you know, a horrible tragedy or anything like that. They're just a lot of, um, I think, little tiny frustrations. So um, we're gonna move on, see how that trim goes and hope that it looks okay. just barely doesn't fit because this piece this little piece here we need one more up there so we're basically short by that inch this much <laughs>
the trim. <laughs> both. You're both perfect. We'll see about that. When I staple this. See? Perfect. And just like that, the window trim is all done. Of course, we have to fill all of the uh, nail holes and things like that. But I think it looks pretty good. Hello. It's been a few days since I picked up the camera here in the pole barn and I thought I would give you all a quick update. First, that piping back there. Um, we tracked down two more pieces for the wood burning stove, Matt did actually, and they both came in. However, one came in okay and one came in damaged. So we both called around to a bunch of different places, tried to track it down, and we did track it down. However, it is about two and a half hours away from here. So we are getting in the car today, driving the two and a half hours to pick up that pipe. Now, a couple people said they could get it shipped in, but the problem is we're finding when it gets shipped in, that's when it gets damaged. So instead, we are just going to drive the two and a half hours away. The company that I talked to has 15 in stock, so that is good. And I'm assuming one of them is going to be in great shape. While we're there, we're gonna open them up, make sure all is good. And then I think, I hope, fingers crossed, because the installer for that is not calling us back, but I hope we then have all the pieces parts for it and we can he can come out and get that installed. And I thought I'd show you in other news, <laughs> we don't have a couch in here, but we tracked down um, that kayak over there, my sister um, was not using, and so she gave it to us. So thank you to my sister. But we decided to track down another kayak, and uh, we found it here locally. It's used, but I think it's in pretty good shape. And so, um, yeah, <laughs> we are ready to go kayaking, although it's rather cold and chilly out. And when we went to get it, it was snowing buckets, but i um, excited to have that excited to go on some adventures with both of these and um, we'll probably get them out of the living room sooner than later maybe also things are coming along in the workshop so i'll insert a couple of videos here matt got some of the cabinets painted and stuff is slowly getting organized in there it's a project just like the studio was a project to get together so um but it's getting there and it's looking really nicely They'll match everything else quite nicely. When, when all of your other interior decoration revolves around craftsman cabinets, you paint your cheap cabinets to look like craftsman cabinets. <laughs> Let me try to circle around here without bumping into some paint. But it's looking good. Exciting stuff. Custom hardware for the nicely newly painted workshop cabinets. See, I'm not the only creative one around here. Pretty cool. And in other news, look what actually closes. The warming drawer got fixed on the electric range. The entire side panel over here had to come off. The range had to get pulled out. So it was quite the project. Good morning. Got all the pipe, five pieces. So hopefully, fingers crossed, 
that's what we need for that wood stove installation. And um, Matt was in charge of the video, so let me just show you what he shot here of us going to get the pipe. <laughs> I don't think that's quite right. Uh, were you in charge of it? I don't know if in charge is <laughs> quite my pay grade. <laughs> Apparently he had it on photo mode and not video mode. But um, needless to say, we got the pipe. So that is the good news. And I think this is where I'm going to leave you for this Barn Dominium video. Just so it doesn't get too long. I hope you enjoyed coming along, watching some of the uh, fun times, a few frustrating moments. Hopefully it was entertaining and you had a good time. If you did and you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really, really does help me out. Stay tuned for more Barn Dominium fun, probably coming to you in a couple weeks, I'm guessing. In the meantime, art videos are going to be coming your way. So anyways, thank you so very, very, very much for following along. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.